If you can hear me once, clap. Oh, hey, it's a you live hear me. Stream. Clap Man. once. Brooklyn Mary Libby Chef right if here. If you can hear me, clap two times. All right, people. We're going to try and keep the program short because I know this is a mingle and mix. This is a room with the most awesome people in Oakland. All under one roof. Give it up for yourself. So we have gathered you all here together for one simple, simple task. And that is to say, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Being the mayor of this incredible city has been quite a journey over the last two years. And this is halftime, right? The, the citizens elected us for a four-year term and we just crossed over that two-year halftime point. So that gave us a moment to reflect and say, wow, amid the crises, amid the struggle, there's some really good things that have gotten done in Oakland over the last two years. This is an incredible city. Let's give it up for Oakland. But no one gets anything done alone. And so um, you are some of the very select few. We, we, we invited as many as we were allowed to fit into this space <laughs> um, of people that we really wanted to recognize as being responsible for some really great things that have gotten done over the last two years. So if you are in this room, you are being honored just because you are here. But I had to take the opportunity to just shout out a few extra people that really kind of illustrate some of the things that we have gotten done this year. So let's, let's roll the slides. All right, first I gotta thank my incredible team. And yes, we get a little silly sometimes. All right, where is Team MLS? Come on up, people. Are you gonna wave? at the bar <laughs> all right there's some new faces here god do you want me to introduce you all i can try my best this is ricardo huerto nino my new director of collective impact <laughs> kelly Kahn. i'm gonna just do the directors man there are too many of you all <laughs> kelly Kahn, my new director of art spaces Jose Corona, Director of Equity and Strategic Partnerships. Amanda Feinstein, Program Director for My Brilliant Baby for the Oakland Promise. And just joining our team, and she did all the work, let's just be honest about that, Ivana Casaras, the Director of Community Engagement. Also, newly joining my team, it took me two years to hire this woman, my Director of Public Safety, Venus Johnson. <laughs> new to the Mayor's office, but not new to City Hall, my, direct, my Deputy Chief of Staff and Director of Intergovernmental Affairs, Joanna Karchmer. Special Projects Coordinator to the Mayor, Sun Kwan, sometimes known as Michael C. Someone whose nickname is Turn Up and One Gear. My Director of Education, David Silver. Man, I'm running out of stage, people. You know, you have a fancy title like Deputy Communications, but I call you Utility Infielder, Michael Hunt. <laughs> 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 
Michael just got married, so. All right, all right. We got Mary and Maggie, Maggie and Mary, the Oakland Promise, like they do everything and David takes credit for it. Mary and Maggie. All right, Carrelli, Salto Ordaz. Special assistant. Her name is not Carly or Karen, it's Carelli, okay, Carelli. <laughs> All right, also stepping up into her new position, my fabulous Chief of Staff, Sharita Nosahare. All right, I'm just gonna have a little fun with the next two of you. We have K1 and K2. Can you believe we have two Kiras working in our office? K1 and K2, they do everything. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna loop it around here. The woman who makes me look and sound so good, my director of communications, Erica Terry Derrick. All right, another specialist that you're like, a special assistant to the deputy, la la la, Terrell Hegler. <laughs> and then um, our, one of our fabulous transportation people, Oria Cohen. And then my policy director for transportation and infrastructure, Mr. KK himself, Matt Nichols. <laughs> All right, and then last but not least, our liaison with the school district and the program director for K to College, Vintran. <laughs> and former principal at Skyline High School. Who am I missing? Al from the Oaklanders Assistance Center. Oh, and the man to his right is my husband. <laughs> Give it up for the man that makes me possible. Southend. <laughs> I see Dominic up there. Lena, can you give everyone a wave? These, these, are, these are my kiddos. <laughs> all right, all right, enough about us, enough about us. This is about you, this is about you. Enough about us, all right. But anyway, I wanted you to meet the whole team. Please talk to them, give them your great ideas, get their business cards, it's the best way to get to me. Um, now it's time to talk about the great stuff you've done. All right, you might remember when I was elected, I had articulated four priorities. And so these quick recognitions are gonna be in each one of these priorities. Holistic community safety, Oakland is safer. Over the last Four years, people, we have reduced all violent crimes by 20%, shootings and homicides by 40%, residential burglaries 60%. And we reduce crime at the same time that we made changes in the way that we do policing, and we also reduce police use of force by 70%. Our, violent, our per capita violent crime rate shows that last year was the safest year Oakland has had since 2005. That is fantastic. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of people in this room to thank for that. Some of them are sh wearing shiny badges. Please hug them. We need more cop hugging these days. Okay? But right now, oh good, thank you. 
But right now, I do want to give a special recognition for the Ceasefire Partnership. I don't know if we have Reverend Demita here. We have Arnold Perkins here. God, does everyone love Arnold Perkins? <laughs> Pastor Cummings. I mean, this community partnership has been fighting for this holistic way of making our streets safer for so many years. I just have the good fortune of continuing what was good momentum already. Thank you so much, Ceasefire Partnership. All right. Part of our view of holistic community safety, what makes a city safe, is when our kids get every opportunity to be their incredible, brilliant selves. And that is what the Oakland Promise is all about. We sent 300 kids off with $2.5 million in college scholarships and persistent support. We've attracted $25 million to invest in our young people in this city. That makes my heart sing. And a number of the people in this room contributed to that $25 million number. We have 1,000 community champion partners. We have 24 partner colleges, and that includes Peralta, which is offering all Oakland Public School graduates their first semester free at any community And in just our first year, we have seven middle schools and high schools that have opened future centers and 18 elementary schools that have presented every single one of their kindergartners with a $100 early scholarship award to say that we in this community believe in your brilliance, in your potential, and we are gonna make sure that not only do you feel that expectation that you are going to college, but this community is gonna make sure that we've put together the resources to make sure you are going to and through college. And that can be four-year college, two-year college, or trade certificate. We got a big definition of college. This has been a phenomenal success. And so I wanna honor the East Bay College Fund and the Oakland Promise Ambassadors. I wanted to say a, a quick special word about the East Bay College Fund. One reason that the Oakland Promise has been so wildly successful in just its first year is because the East Bay College Fund has already been doing this work for more than a decade. But you know what? And this is what we gotta do more of in Oakland. They, they weren't all turfy. They weren't all full of ego. They said, hey, we want to rebrand East Bay College Fund and call them Oakland Promise Scholars because together we can serve so many more kids. And so I just want to highlight partnership, generosity, lack of ego for the East Bay College Fund. Thank you. All right, next, let's talk about equitable jobs and housing. Uh, I am so excited. We have given out $1.4 million in zero interest loans to 261 small business entrepreneurs in Oakland, 83% owned by people of color, 66% owned by women. We are breaking down the barriers. Breaking down the barriers to owning a business, being successful in a business. I see you, Phil Moore, speaking of a great business. Hello. All right, so we are honoring our great partner in that, Kiva.org. Where's Valerie? Valerie, you got to right, right here. She's. You want, you want to talk about how to get one of these loans? Talk to this lady right here. $10,000, zero interest. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Okay, also, we have a youth unemployment problem. You know, the grown-ups have been doing pretty well this year as far as jobs, but we were proud that over the last two summers, we got more than 4,000 young people jobs. 
We also were so honored to be selected by the Obama administration. Remember that president? <laughs> <laughs> I miss him. Um, and, the, and his fabulous My Brother's Keeper, or MBK Alliance. We were so proud to host MBK's first Opportunity Summit, where we gave career services to 1,000 young men of color. 350 of them walked out the door that day with a permanent job. So in recognition of that work, we really want to honor our MBK plan co-chair, James Head from the East Bay Community Foundation. Are you here, James? Oh, you gotta call him out, because he told me yesterday, he promised me he was coming, all right. And then the Bay Area Employment Partnership. It is a partnership with Urban Strategies Council, the Bay Area Council. That was what made that career summit happen. We're gonna do it again this summer. All right, now the housing part of equitable jobs and housing. We put together an emergency housing cabinet that engaged 110 stakeholders. And I see a few of them in the room. I saw Bill Rossetti someplace. I see John. Wave your hand if you were on any of those housing cabinet working groups. It was Fat Regina, thank you. We have an eight year plan to protect 17,000 Oaklanders from being displaced from their own homes and to build 17,000 new units of housing, 28% affordable to low, very low and extremely low income residents. And so for that, oh, and we also, wait, and, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Between measures KK, a1 and cap and trade, we created more than $200 million to build more affordable housing. And our planning and building uh, department is overwhelmed and hard at work right now because right now we have 4,500 units of housing that will either be completed or get under construction just this year, 2017. Oakland has never seen this amount of growth. And then we also uh, protected, we, we also strengthened a lot of renters protections and services. And for that, we are honoring East Bay Housing Organizations, EPHO, and Enterprise Community Partners. Gloria is here from EPHO. Is Heather Hood here? She's back here. Heather Hood. Enterprise. Oh, she's on crutches because of her knee. Enterprise Partners basically lent us Heather Hood, who ran the entire housing cabinet. We could not have done it without you. It was amazing. It was a beautiful piece of work. And now we are hard at implementing all of its components. It's very exciting. All right. All right, and then we know that part of equitable jobs and housing is really also lifting up our incredible cultural vitality in this city. We were so excited. One of the things that came out of the working group for artist housing and workspaces was $1.7 million to protect Oakland cultural organizations from the Rainin Foundations and others. But you know what, even though that was the Rainin uh, money, the person that we really want to honor for this work, he's just an all-around fabulous guy, Josh Simon. Josh is not only ex the executive director of Evaldsi, which is one of our most creative and busy affordable housing developers, they don't just develop affordable housing, they also work to protect small businesses, as well as community-serving nonprofits. But Josh is also on the board of CAST, uh, which is an organization in San Francisco that's been buying up real estate to preserve cultural organizations. And Josh was part of bringing CAST to Oakland, where they just finished their first RFP to help purchase and secure and fix up permanently affordable spaces for some of our cultural organizations. So thank you, Josh. You know, Oakland is full of brilliant 
creative people. It really is incredible. All right, let's talk about infrastructure. I love infrastructure. Even Donald Trump loves infrastructure. It's something we can all agree on. All right, we passed Measure KK, creating $350 million to fix those raggedy roads. And I don't think I have ever seen a revenue measure in the history of the city of Oakland where more than 82%, 82% of the people voted to tax themselves. That is one generous community. And part of why we are going to be honoring Transport Oakland is they were one of the biggest lobbyists to create Oakland's first Department of Transportation. I think I saw Jeff Tomlin here, the interim director, and we are very uh, honored that the number two guy in charge of transportation for all of New York is actually coming to Oakland because even though we all are in love with Jeff. He has a contractual obligation that prohibits him from staying in public service. You just go on back to the private sector, Jeff. Go on back. <laughs> You've been fantastic. You're the one who got it off the ground. We are very excited about transportation. And, and people sometimes tease me that I overuse the word holistic. But what's so exciting about Oakland is, it's, are you laughing at me just right now? Right now? <laughs> My ambassadors are mocking me. That's good. That's healthy. <laughs> when we talk about transportation, holistic transportation, it is not just about the cars. It's about people who walk. We got our scraper bike team in the house. We love Oakland scrapers. You know, in Oakland, we get around in our own way. That's just how we roll. All right, next award. All right, and then last, responsible, trustworthy government. This is the, the boring but important stuff. And, and you all hold up. This is my last, this is my last two. And then you can get back to that good free wine. Um, we, were, we really were, were proud and thankful to the organizations that helped us engage traditionally excluded residents in government. Uh, we were able to talk to incarcerated youth. We were able to speak with non-English speakers, refugees, immigrants, about what they want out of their city. That was so important to us and we could not have done it without so many of the people in this room. But also, this is the boring stuff. We stabilized this city with new talent. You probably don't realize that the city administrator, who by the way, was the eighth city administrator in eight years, right. has filled 18 top vacancies with new energized talent. <laughs> while at the same time, putting aside $18 million for the first time in a rainy day fund, in a trust for our unfunded liabilities. Our credit rating got upgraded. We reduced $25 million off our negative fund balances. I know this is geeky, boring stuff, but your city is actually more financially stable, and that's what helps us do the work we need to do. And so for that, This is the woman who basically carries the weight of the city on her shoulders, all right? She has been our city administrator. She has attracted an amazing team. They do happen to be women. That wasn't, you know, we don't discriminate, but they... And, and she has gotten all of that stuff done during some pretty major crises. 
a lot of hard work, all that important stuff has been getting done behind the scenes, and she is amazing, all right? All right, and then some of the folks that really helped us engage community. Uh, we have Ming Ho from the Cantonese uh, Citizens Academy. We have Emma Paulino from OCO. We love OCO. We have R Joy. Where's Malachi? Restorative Justice for Oakland Youth. And then EOYDC, East Oakland Youth Development Center. They organized the youth input sessions to select our police chief. These groups gave people voices that don't always have voices in government. We have a lot more work to do, but thank you for letting us work with you to make government real for people. All right, and I think, oh, all right. This is your last slide. I need you to all be quiet. Shh. All right. So since I have just spent all this time thanking you, thanking you for what we have gotten done and just taking a moment to celebrate and recognize some incredible work that's gotten done over the next last two years, you may want to know, well, Mayor, what more could I do? So, we have four things that we would like you to do before you leave this room. And I will be barring the doors. No. First of all, we still need 100 people to sign up to mentor a college student. All that means, thank you, John Davies, all right. You know, he's known me since I was 14. You buy him a glass of wine, you'll probably hear some embarrassing stories about me. Um, these, so many of our young people have never gone to college. They don't have anyone in their families that have gone to college. You just have to check in with them one time a week usually on you know Twitter or Snap, who's he, what's it, whatever you young people are doing these days. Snapchat. I know, I know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that nerdy. Um, so there's a table in there where you can sign up to be a mentor for the Oakland Promise, or you can sign up, if you're not quite ready yet, at least sign up to be a champion. That just says you believe in it. Second thing, Kiva, remember those incredible business entrepreneurs? In fact, the food tonight, is served by a catering company that is a Kiva borrower. We have five loans tonight, right? Six. We have six loans tonight. Stop by the table. It is so fun. You're like, dang, I'm a banker. It feels good. So you, you can lend as little as $25. You just ate $25 worth of my food. You can give and you get it back. It's awesome. You are lending $25 to a local entrepreneur right here in our community. You get it back. It is so empowering and beautiful. I, I would love to see all six of those loans funded by the end of tonight. We could do that. Um, we also have it back there at the table, a Walk Oakland, Bike Oakland. Feel free to sign up if you care about walking or biking. It's a good way to keep, keep in touch with that infrastructure. And then finally, you all might, we, might, we obviously have your email, but if you don't, haven't liked us on Facebook, followed us on Twitter or Instagram, I haven't handled Snapchat yet, but I'll get there. Um, follow us, retweet the good news, share. You know, so often the, the corporate media is focused on the negative stuff. So it's really important that we share these accomplishments. We celebrate them. We live in one awesome city. So please, keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am deeply grateful for all of you. And that's it, folks. That was it's a live stream here at the Impact Hub. Uh, the mayor is thanking the people who have helped her over the first uh, two years of everything. So, uh, and there it is. That's that's what Folks. it's all about. So yeah. So yeah. There's some elected officials I forgot to mention. Can you raise your hand or staff with elected officials? Please, can we give a hand to folks? 